This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by Privacy.com. Go to Privacy.com forward slash rogue and get $5 cash to spend on scam stuff. Heck yeah, man. We like it when you give us $5. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Privacy.com slash rogue. Man, growing up, I thought that getting tied up was going to be a much bigger part of my adult life. Uh, you grew up very fast, and I'm not entirely comfortable with this line of conversation. Have you ever been tied up against your will or bound against your will? God, see, again, like, actually? Look, against your look, you're breaking the fantasy when you say against your will. Because you weren't in Cub Scouts. Were consent you? is important. All right. Look, you have to you have to create a contract, and then you establish a safe word, and then that's where the excitement comes from because you genuinely can't get out, and it's only when they they have control. All right, Jason Murphy, let's keep this short and sweet. We've been kidnapped, doesn't matter why, not your business, what gambling debts we have. The important part is that we want to put, what, spy tools to the test on this? Absolutely, we want to see if these are actually effective and how effective they are at escaping some common binds. Yeah, okay, so uh, these are all things that you can find over at scamstuff.com. Now you choose how you are bound, sir. <sighs> zips or tape? I'll just kidding. You get tape. Well, I wanted zips. That's fine. You Wait. know how much of a mess I make with tape. Oh, that's right. You don't like tape. I don't even... Maybe you should bind wait, me. Wait, how, how tape Here, works? You, know you don't know how tape works? Here, you bind me with the tape. Okay, all right, all right. There you go. It's not, we'll keep it easy. There we okay. Go. Just imagine that times a lot. You want the nickel knife or the 50 cent covert knife? Come They're on. Both knives that are hidden as money. But clearly one of them is more effective than the other because it's 45 cents more. Yes, but also more suspicious. You don't think that they're gonna steal. Like, nobody's gonna look at a nickel and say, oh, I need that nickel, let me take that, sir. But if you think 50 cents, they're like, that's halfway to a soft taco, and then they're gonna take it. You're so right. you wouldn't want this one. Taco money fuels most uh, kidnappers' okay. decisions. All right, here we go. So you got the nickel knife. This is a knife hidden inside a nickel. What? Yes and see if you can figure out how to use it. I can't even get it open. Is there a switch? I see that there's like some, ah, uh, ah, ah, ah. God, don't reset the injury counter, Jason. <laughs> Not with this. this be, and it's really close to your wrists. All of a sudden the stakes just went way up. <laughs> do, do you have this? Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, okay, so I gotta somehow get this blade. Yep. Right here, tiny little blade. I'm telling you, I think the knee thing might work. You, you gotta get that tight. <gasps> Is it working? No. But I hear that. Yeah, that was, that was, that was all that me. That was your strength? Yeah. Try the teeth. Ooh. How sharp is it? It's in my mouth. It's a blade. How's that feel? Like it's not working. You wedged it in here. Okay, yeah. Be so careful. I am. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, no, it's not wedged in enough. In my mind, I would imagine you can go chick, chick, chick. I can't get enough, uh, I can't quite reach. You just have to assume that you have a, a, a friend who can help. Uh, ooh, now I'm the one stabbing. There you go. Yeah, okay. It certainly cuts very, very easy. Yeah, it's, it's good. It's, it's good. just, it's just, if it's on your wrist, okay, you gotta maybe figure that's out. Okay, that's good. Okay, <laughs> hey, hey, success, hey. success. Yeah, no, that's very sharp. You know, I think there are probably maybe easier ways to get out of it, but if you've got that and you're not worried about cutting yourself and you're actually in a situation where you're held captive, yeah, you're probably I mean, gonna go to town with that, yeah, right? Better that than nothing. Okay, okay, zip, zip tie me up, zip tie me up. Okay. Okay, yeah. Good? There's a knife built into my belt. They refused me entrance to Disneyland uh, at VidCon. This is a trick, isn't because, it? Because, no, it's, it's, Painful as what? Oh, you did it very gonna, tight. We're gonna age gate this? I, 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 oh, that was, this was a mistake. <laughs> um, wow, having your hands bound really makes a problem. This is gonna have to be another two person operation. Okay. Remove my belt. <laughs> you I swear, I'm sorry. I'm did this sorry. on purpose. I can't get it. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, 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 wait. Right. Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay. Okay. And then. Is there a way for you to get it? I, I don't know that there is. This is way harder to do on yeah. yourself than you would think. Please be careful. <laughs> I know, right? It's a uh, two-person operation. Oh, oh dear. I'm just going to hold it still. Okay, you hold it still. Okay, hold, uh, hold it very still. Uh, okay. Ah! Uh. 
It was more nerve wracking than I expected. It was very nerve wracking. Wow. Yeah. None of these are easy. Yeah. Even if you have the devices on you, you still got to be able to use them. Let's say your legs and your wrists are bound. Oh, you would be able to get your legs. Easily. And then run away. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Getting your wrists out of there, not real good. Okay. This one, there's no way a single person can get this. This is the nickel escape saw. It is uh. a saw filament that is wrapped around and disguised as two nickels. Oh. So it's really, really fun, but I, I don't know how practical it'll be for escape. Your goal is to pull off the gasket, loop around the filament, twist it on there, get the filament on the other one twisted around there, mm -hmm. and now so you have a big handles. thing. But, but, but the problem is you're, yeah. you're gonna be bound. Although mm -hmm. I will say for the legs, you'll be able to saw right through it. And the good news is at that point, you could saw through the bars of the prison or the, or the chain link fence that you're in. I feel like there's no way you're gonna be able to do it. I, I'm gonna bind okay. your feet. Okay. Because we've established that I can't really do anything with these yeah. with my hands bound. So, okay, so here. We can go ahead and skip past that. All right, here. Uh, feet together. There we go. So let's say you're able to get your hands free. You're able to access your pockets. You've got these two nickels. Yeah. And I guess let's see if you can figure out how to put it all together. Well, I'm gonna say right now, probably no. <laughs> Just peel off that gasket. The gasket is what locks everything in. It really does feel like some James Bond stuff, dude. There it is, there I it is, there see. it is, there it is. Now, oh, 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 oh. There, there's your filament. Oh. Uh, now undo the thing, undo the thing. Really? Here, uh, pull it all the way out, all the way out, all the way out. Oh, oh, oh. So, and then there's, a, there's like a, a hook at the end. Yeah. Okay, hold on, don't Let's make tie sure that that's... There you go. Yeah. This is hopefully of, in this scenario, a person helping you <laughs> with all this. You'll loop this and twist it. So here, I'm gonna make a little loop. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Right? And then once it's in there, just twist it around, twist it around, and pinch it in the middle so that it gets, there you go, nice and tight, 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 tight. Yeah! I see. Okay? Like that's some straight up James Bond stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Uh, Turn around. Feet, nope, nope. <laughs> feet, feet out, feet out. Put, put it down in between. I was thinking from the back, but that's even better. Okay, give it, wait, wait. Slow and steady, we'll cut. There you go, that's great. Keep going, keep going. Do you hear it sawing through? Yeah. Wait, wait, don't overdo it, don't overdo it, because yeah. it'll snap. It's real brittle. If you're like behind chain link fence, it's just gonna take a really long time and you're gonna take it but easy. You, yeah, you can eventually just chew right through it. This, this pivoting you're doing is gonna mm. break it. Oh. So keep it like that. Okay. There you go. Welcome to our ASMR channel. Yeah, you're back. You're back to pivoting. Oh, oh, there you go. But it worked. It worked. And it tore right through my jeans. Oh God damn it! It ah, sure did. Ah, That's two pairs down. No, this, this is, is the same pair. The same jeans because what? they have the holes from the explosion. <laughs> These are legendary jeans. Jesus Christ! They're vintage now. You can sell them. That's right. Keep them for forty years. Distressed. <laughs> It'll be a Patreon perk. All right, last tool we got to try. This is one of my all time favorites. This is the rogues ring. Now, theoretically, there are two ways to use it when it comes to zip ties. One is to use it as a shim to poke through that little tooth part and then slide it open. Oh. And then the other okay. is it has a serrated edge to just cut through. But the best part is the entire thing is hidden in this titanium ring. So you can see on the outside, there are a bunch of symbols for scam school tricks. So if you're trying to think of what a good scam school trick is, that's there. But the idea is, is nobody's gonna pull a ring off of you as they put you in zip ties. So I guess zip tie me up. All right. Yeah, there you go. That's good. good. Sure, let's say you're a generous and kind kidnapper. That's what they say about me. The nice thing is unlike the belt, which is hard to get to, or unlike mm -hmm. your pocket, which is hard to get to, your fingers are already here. So you're able to pull off the ring and then you're able to pull out the escape tool. This is the exact width to shim both police issued handcuffs and also zip ties. But in this case, we're just gonna use that serrated edge. Just to cut through. Yeah. If you can get to it. Ooh, yeah, you're not kidding, that is tough. 
Yeah, I think it's too flimsy for you to really hold against the band. I think it's slow progress, but it's definitely happening. Unlike the straight blade, straight blade just screams like I'm about to cut myself. Yeah. Whereas this saw blade, I feel very comfortable. Way like, the safer. The worst thing I'm gonna do is abrade myself a mm -hmm. bit. All right, so it's like halfway down. I feel like I can brute force it the rest of the way, but pretty clearly if I kept on going, you were we gonna make get it through, yeah. Yeah, it's just a uh, time consuming. Oh! Got it! Yeah, yeah. All of the bladed solutions made me very nervous. Yeah. Whether it was on the zip ties or on the, the tape, everything from the belt to the nickel saw, that seemed like just waiting to slice open a vein. Yes, but again, if you're in a situation where you're legitimately held captive by someone, you're not really gonna worry about a lot of little cuts to your hands. You're gonna take what you could get, but meanwhile, man, that saw, both of the saws, whether it's on the leg restraints or being able to escape through the bars of the door, this seemed really safe and effective. And same on this, the only thing is it's a real pain in the butt to make it work when your hands are bound. If you can get one of these to work, what you have to consider is that you also have a weapon once you're free. Oh yeah, no, that could that could slice the throat for sure. Yeah, unlike, you know, you're not gonna do much it's with this. It's kind of a garage. <laughs> kind but, but, of. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one because it's novel, it's cool, and with a little bit of uh, precision and patience, you can get this to work. Yeah, I think I'm too big of a fan of the social invisibility. There's something sacred about a wedding ring and it doesn't seem like somebody would, would take it off. Plus, it keeps the weapon or the tool exactly where you need it. Plus also, this is the only one we were able to make work on our wrists. <laughs> That's a good point. Dude, I can't decide. I can't decide my favorite part about privacy.com. Okay. Well, because I start to think it's about the fact that they protect all my information and they don't sell it to other people, unlike, you know, every other card out there. And then I realize there's that button that's in my Chrome browser. You press the button and all of a sudden, boom, one-time burner for any amount that I want. I'm able to sign up for free trials and when they try to rerun it, guess what? Doesn't work anymore. You know how terrified I am of, you know, everything on the internet? Yeah. It's out to get me. They're out to eat my flesh and pick the meat from my bones. And I don't want to let them do that. Privacy protects me because every time I try to order something for this show mm -hmm. that maybe is from a, a questionable site, I don't want to give them my actual information, so I generate a burner card. Love it. Do it that way. And you don't even have kids. I need the sparkly emoji icon uh, to the 12th degree, and this one's only to the 11th degree. You can, with confidence, say, here is your card. You can spend $1.98 on it. Oh, I bet that's really helpful. Uh, that's a good way to manage your own finances, to say, okay, this is my entertainment budget for the month. I've got 50 bucks. Once it's gone, I gotta stay home. Yeah, you're minting your own debit cards. That's right, and if you go to privacy.com forward slash rogue now, you're gonna get $5 to spend on scam stuff. Yeah, okay, look, when you run a website called scamstuff.com, everybody's gonna be a little suspicious. Guess what? How about you create a burner card that'll make you feel better and you'll get $5 cash to spend on any of the stuff that you saw in this exact episode. Privacy.com forward slash rogue. Check it out. Be safe. Get free money. And then give it to us. And then, then, and then give it to us. And it tore right through my jeans. Oh God damn it! It ah, sure did. Ah, That's two pairs down. No, this, this is, is the same pair. The same jeans because what? they have the holes from the explosion. <laughs> these are legendary jeans. Oh, you have to sell these jeans for so much money. These were my favorite jeans. <laughs> They're now my favorite jeans. <laughs>